Okay, here's the video for day five. I can see two skeletons. I can see things in my field of view. I can see some nice squares. There's some treasure, it's gold bars, lovely. Okay, well, the thing is, the game has become dangerous. The game, son, has become dangerous. You are not going to get out of it alive, son. Because these skeletons have now noticed you. You see they have the exclamation mark on them, just like in Metal Gear Solid, where the enemy would go, Rrrr! and they would uh, notice you and have this exclamation mark and then be looking for you everywhere. Um, now these skeletons have noticed me, and they are dangerous, and they will hit you, and you will die. Now all you can do at the moment, because you, you see I used to have about a billion swords uh, tucked around the level, like an alcoholic has little bottles of gin, um, so that I could uh, kill the enemies. And that's when they weren't even moving, they weren't even a problem then. But I've taken those debug swords out now, so the only way I've got of killing this skeleton that's coming towards me right now is to suck it up. So, I'll wait till it's one square away from me, use normal suck, use this one mana, I've sucked up that enemy. Now I'll go here, I'll wait, and then I'll suck up that enemy. See, you've only got ten spaces. It can get tricky. And I haven't even put the ranged combat in where mobs are gonna fire at you yet. Is bat bats are easy. Just um suck them up too. Suck up the skeleton. And I've got four mobs in there now. That's the broom cupboard down below where broom is. Uh we don't have a key yet though. Oh, cake golems. Cake golems are actually really annoying because I made it so they wouldn't fit up your nozzle because they're so hideously fat. And um the way you were going to kill them is by luring them onto lava. Now, we don't have any lava in the game at the moment because when you kill imps, they don't leave, uh, leave lava behind yet. We haven't even seen an imp anyway, so it would still be the problem that it is now. It's going to come towards you. All you can do is suck it towards you with the vacuum cleaner or fire a mob at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use up all our steam. We're going to change it into blow mode, super blow in this direction. And I've killed that mob. But notice also, the mob you shoot out doesn't die because it's it's I don't know, it's 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 fall through the air. Sideways fall it's <laughs> it's um flight through the air is uh arrested by the cushiony uh, cake golem and so it lives and it's noticed you and it's pissed off and it's coming towards you, so we're gonna suck it up, change back to suck mode, suck it up, wait for this next cake golem. Oh see because you can't ranged attack by blowing a mob at another mob when it's only one square away. I mean, you would be able to in real life, it seems realistic. If the mob's right next to you, you fire another mob up at its point blank range, bam, it should even be extra damage or something. But um, you can't do it in this game because it would have to put the corpse somewhere else and it would have to put the mob that came out somewhere. So because we're doing a sort of one thing, one square policy. I'm afraid that can't be uh, can't be the outcome. So one more wait. Now change to blow. It must be said I'm having difficulty with the controls for my own game, and they're not very complicated. Right, fire at it. Uh, change back to suck. Uh, wait turn. Suck up the skeleton. We could even suck up the uh, cake golem corpses if we wanted to. Oh no, we couldn't. We didn't fit in the vacuum. <laughs> Okay, here's an imp. What are we going to do with the imp? Well, we're going to suck it up. It's a cobby bomber. Luckily, they don't throw bombs yet. Suck it up. There's an awful lot of sucking in this game. We've noticed we're going to give it a very high rating. We don't want children playing this game. There's far too much sucking going on. Disgusting sucking. Dirty, low life, disgusting sucking. Oh, here's a gelatinous QA. Now, they didn't fit up your nozzle either. But, the cool thing about them is, they don't attack you. They're entirely peaceful. They just go around the uh, level sucking stuff up and being annoying. So, for example, there might be a key you need, and the gelatinous QA comes up, says, oh, okay, I'll absorb that. Absorb! And then it goes off with your key. And then you have to find the cube and kill it to get your key back. But you can tell, visually, by looking at the uh, QA, that it does not contain an object. So... If we hold down wait, we can just see it moving around. Uh, uh, 
I've had more fun in Brighton. I had more fun in Skegness the other day, Hilda. Well, batteries. Mm, nothing to do with them yet. Another imp. Oh, God. You've got to go up my nozzle if you're going to attack me. Right, it's gone in my nozzle. I haven't found a key yet. Oh, have we? Did I miss a key because I was talking to you people? Up my nozzle. Ah, key! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Now I can see from the mini map, I've got broom cupboard. Let's go and. Oh, fuck. Suck up the skeleton. Let's go. Ah, oh, see, now we've only got one space in the vacuum and there's two mobs, so we're gonna have to change to blow mode. Super blow. Kill the bat. That's coming towards me. Change to suck. Suck it up. Change to blow. Make sure we stay away from the mob. Is that on a diagonal with me? Yeah. Super blow. There. Change back to suck. Suck up the skeleton. Oops. Uh. Oh yeah, I was gonna release broom. Release broom. I'm gonna release a broom, is it covered? I'm gonna release him now. Broom is released. Broom emerges from the broom cupboard. Uh, hold on and. Ah! Shit. Now that just shows me why I shouldn't just go and hold down the wait key. Because now I'm dead. I was killed by the fiery golem. And there's broom mourning my death. There is no code for Broom to mourn his my death, but believe me, he is mourning my death. Uh, you were killed by the fire imp. That's what it says in the little dust window that you can't see. It says you were killed by the fire imp. You were killed by the fire imp. Because um, it's just killed you twice. That's bad coding, but there you go. It's killed you twice. You're twice dead. And the Broom mourns your twice dead corpse. Or once dead corpse. Because if you've been killed and you're a corpse and the corpse is killed, it's a once dead corpse. A corpse is once killed by... Oh, anyway, you get what I mean. It's time to hit the button and go away, kiddies. Two days to go. 